Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given cubic equation. And at the end, we are going to check our answers as well. Before we get started, I want to make sure that our given cubic equation is in a standard form. And here the standard form looks like this one, as you can see over here ax power 3 plus bx squared plus cx plus d. The next step we want to do is in order to find the solution we must try x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 as two of our solution because they are easy to be found. So in the very first step we're going to check if x equal to 1 is our solution. And here's the rule that we're going to be applying. It says that if the coefficients a, b, c, and d, if you add them up and they are equal to zero, then one of our solution is going to be x equal to one. In our case, a is one, b is one, c is negative three, and d is nine as I put it down over here. If you add them up, it turns out to be eight, which is not equal to zero. So that means x cannot be equal to one. So we're gonna rule it out. Now in the next step, we are going to check whether x equal to negative one is a solution. And here is the rule. The rule says that if you add the alternate coefficients of these alternate terms. Over here the coefficient is 1, here coefficient is 1. If you add this coefficient to the alternate term, which is this one, if you add them that's going to be negative 2. And if you add this 1 to 9, the alternate one, that turns out to be 10, isn't it? Now ask yourself, is these two numbers, negative 2 and 10, are same? They are not same. If they are not same, that means x equal to negative 1 is not a solution. That could only be a solution if these two numbers were same. So we ruled it out. So thus x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 are not our solution. That means we ruled them out. And in this step, I want you to look at the last number, the end number, which is 9. Can you tell me what are the possible divisors of 9? They're going to be, of course, positive or negative 1, positive or negative 3, and positive or negative are 9, isn't it? But in the previous step, we already ruled out positive 1 and negative 1. They can't be so right now we are pinning our hope on positive 3, negative 3, and the other ones. So let's try x equal to negative 3 now. So we're going to try x equal to negative 3, and for that reason, we need a synthetic division. So let's go ahead and put down these coefficients over here. What are the coefficients? 1, 1, negative 3, and 9 right up here. So I'm going to put down 1, 1, negative 3, and 9. The outside number is going to be negative 3. This is what we're going to be trying, negative 3. Let's bring this 1 down as it is. Just leave it like this thing. And then I want you to diagonally multiply. So negative 3 times 1 is going to be negative 3. 1 and negative 3 is going to give you negative 2. Once again, I want you to multiply negative 3 times negative 2. That's going to give you positive 6. Negative 3 and positive 6 is 3. And once again, multiply negative 3 times 3 is going to be negative 9. Negative 9 and positive 9 is going to give you 0 as our remainder. So since the remainder turns out to be 0, now we're going to be using this fact. It states that if the remainder is 0, then this number x equal to negative 3 is indeed our solution. So we figured out 
one of our solution turns out to be x equal to negative 3. Now let's focus on these numbers right now. Over here, x square put down x square, here x and here without x. So we're going to have over here, we can write as 1x square over here minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. And this turns out to be our quadratic equation and we want to solve it using a quadratic formula. Now we're going to, in this step, we're going to solve this uh, quadratic equation by using a quadratic formula and here our a the coefficients a equals to 1 b equals to negative 2 and c equal to 3 let's go ahead and start applying these values in our quadratic formula so minus b is going to become negative and this is negative 2 plus minus b square is going to be a negative 2 square minus 4 times a is 1, C is 3, everything is divided by 2 times 1. Let's go ahead and simplify. Negative and negative become positive 2 plus minus negative 2 squared is 4 minus that's going to become tw negative 12 divided by 2. So far so good. Let's simplify more. So 2 plus minus square root of negative 8 divided by Two. Now I want you to just simply focus on this part over here. I'm going to write down square root of negative 8, which could be written as, I can write as negative 1 times, I'm going to write down 4 times 2. I just broke them down. So I can just split them up. I'm going to say square root of negative 1 square root of 4 and square root of 2. And by the way, the square root of a negative 1 is always i. i stands for imaginary number. Square root of 4 is 2. So you put down times 2 and times square root of 2. Thus I can uh, replace this negative 8 square root by this quantity so I can write as 2 plus minus 2i times square root of 2 and then I can divide this 2 individually like I can do like this thing now we're gonna see what happens so right now over here you're gonna put down 2 over 2 is 1 plus r minus. You see this 2 and 2 cancels out. So we got i times square root of 2 which is equal to x. So thus our solution set turns out to be a negative 3. The solution that we got it from the previous step and these two solutions 1 plus i with a plus sign and 1 with a negative sign I just put it over here just notice one thing these two are not real solutions okay because the reason is because of this I so these are complex number this is not real solution either and this is the only one that is a real solution so thus our real solution turns out to be only negative 3. You can see negative 3, that is the only real solution. And finally we're going to check our solution over here, check our answer and see whether it's right. So right now what we're going to see is over here, I want you to go ahead, whatever solutions you got, add them up. So I'm going to add negative 3 plus 1 plus i square root of 2 plus 1 minus i square root of 2. And ask yourself, is it equal to minus b over a? And now you might be wondering what is a, what is b, what is 
so on. So A is 1 and B is 1 as well. C is negative 3, D is 9. So that means minus B over A means simply negative 1 over 1 that's going to give you negative 1. And on the left hand side if you go ahead and simplify this thing that's going to give you see this thing this negative and positive this is gone negative 3 plus 2 is going to give you negative 1 on the left hand side and we got negative 1 on the right hand side is this statement true yes this is true that means we checked our answer so thus uh, negative 3 1 plus i times square root 2 and 1 minus i times square root 2 is our solution set but if you are interested in a real solution that's going to be only negative 3. And finally I have also put down the graph of our given cubic function and as you can see we have only one x-intercept that means only we have a one root or one solution. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.